session. I just did 20 minutes of cardio with a friend who's actually in prep two weeks out. And it's always fun doing cardio with someone who's on prep because one, you get to distract them and be there for them, motivate them, and two, it makes the time go by so much faster. All right, let's get to it. For today's training session, I decided to focus on a few main lifts like the squats, lat pull down, shoulder press, and glute hip thrusts. And then in between doing the main lift, I would incorporate some kind of cardio enhancing type of movement, whether that was something like working on my hands and my shadow boxing or my footwork for Muay Thai and boxing, or it was something like a hit style movement like mountain climbers or the jump squats that you'll see in just a minute here. And I really enjoy combining a bunch of different modalities of training. You know, I've been training for a long, long time, guys, so it's really fun for me when I get to change it up and just do something different than I've done for years and years. So whether that's adding in cardio, core, or working on a different sport like Muay Thai boxing or Jiu Jitsu, then I'm definitely going to add it in as much as I possibly can. Training for me is so much fun. I like to have fun when I'm training. I'm not there to be bored. I'm not there to do the same boring reps over and over again. Like when I get to do some tempo type of work or something like a drop set or, you know, to fail or pauses and holds or in slow negative and I'm the most miserable that's when I'm the happiest and I like having fun in the gym I like training I like being miserable because I don't know I guess I'm just weird like that but if you're watching this I can guarantee you probably are too <laughs> that was a solid workout Heading now to the VIP room to see some friends before I head home. Home from the gym and I actually have a podcast interview in about 20 minutes. So I'm going to just do a quick protein shake as my post-workout meal. I'm doing level one ice cream sandwich. One scoop of that, cold water, mix it up and post-workout normally I do formula one, but I actually want this to sustain me longer for the whole interview. So I'm not starving midway through the interview. Mm, wow.
here at Offland just getting some work in creating this vlog for you guys. Just had a meeting. We have TikTokers over there creating some TikToks. I am about to go hit a session of Jiu Jitsu. I'm going to hit the noon class at Henzo off of Highway 6 in Sugarland. So I'm excited to go get some training in because yesterday I really wanted to train but I was at my house and it was the afternoon and the traffic was like an hour and I just could not justify doing another drive there and back. So, finally get to train today and I'm excited because it's Nogi and I'm always motivated for Nogi because it's way too hot. It's just too hot in Houston to train Gi Jiu Jitsu right now. It's hot regardless, but like I just can't be bothered to put that on at the moment. Here in Sugarland, and it was very technical today. We did just like footwork when passing the guard. It's good practice, very technical. We didn't actually do any live training or live rolls. And one of those necessary things that you gotta do. Say bye. Bye. Nice. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. Did I see you? I'm glad I got to see you. I was just thinking, I was like, man, I didn't get to see Josh. We'll see you, um, well, the next one's in October, isn't it? Comment down below and let me know what is the number one thing that you want to see in the next video. Whether it's me talking about journaling or the book or my training or jujitsu or Muay Thai. If I only filmed one thing and I put it in the next video that you guys see, what would that one thing be? Thank you guys so much for watching. If you watched this first vlog, I have tried to launch my YouTube channel probably three to four times this year with different videographers that I was working with and there was just a lot of things that held that back. I don't feel like going into it right now. I really got my fire back after being at summer shedding this last weekend I think it just reminded me of my fire when I first started and it kind of like brought that back a little bit I feel like I was getting really discouraged for a lot of reasons I just decided that I'm going to film and edit all of my own content that way I have control over the editing process the time and if I want edits I can make edits really quickly so for now I'm going to be filming and editing all of my own stuff if you guys enjoyed today's video please do me a favor and shoot the video a thumbs up comment down below let me know what you guys want to see in an upcoming vlog and I'll see you in the next video bye